Hello, my name is Elsa Kinnear. I am a Girl Scout cadet, and this is my finished Silver Award project. As a violinist, I have noticed there is a significant lack of female composers in classical repertoire. As part of this, I decided I wanted to do a presentation on the impressive lives and works of different female composers. For this, I've picked five different composers and their works and biographies, and I hope that this will be an educational experience. This was originally supposed to be live at the Chrysler Museum, but I hope you will enjoy this virtual performance. Our first composer is Teresa Carreño. She was born in Caracas, Venezuela in 1853. She was a virtuoso pianist and acquired the nickname the Valkyrie of the Piano. She left Venezuela in 1862 after a revolution and mainly played for income in the United States. She composed over 75 works and was one of the first Venezuelans to achieve international recognition. She even played for President Lincoln and President Wilson. There are many music places, a moon on Venus, and an international piano competition that are now named after her. This piece is her romance and dance for violin and piano.
next composer is Maria Theresa von Paradis. She was born in Vienna, Austria in 1759 and was named after the Archduchess of Austria at the time, who was Maria Theresa. She was actually blind and composed with a tactile alphabet, and she impressed the Imperial Palace so much that they paid for her music education. Her, the exact number of works composed by her are unknown because many of her works were lost, but it's speculated that Mozart, Haydn, and Salieri composed pieces for her. This next piece is Sicilian, which is a popular wedding piece for violin and piano. Composer is Dr. Chen Yi. She is the only living composer of this presentation, and she was born in Guangzhou, China in 1953. As a child, she had to live through the Cultural Revolution, where she performed manual labor tasks such as carrying rocks up mountains. To keep up with her musical studies, she had to play with a heavy mew, with the threat of being discovered looming over her. After the Cultural Revolution, she graduated Central Conservatory and was the first woman to earn a, master's, a musical master's degree in China. She moved to the U.S. to pursue a higher music education and got her doctorate at Columbia University. In an interview, she is stated for saying that one of her major influences was Joan Folletta, our local, recently retired, first con female conductor of the Virginia Symphony Orchestra. Chen Yi has been awarded some of the highest awards for composition, such as, the, such as a Pulitzer Prize nomination and, a, and the Charles Ives Living Award. She has made a major impact on music with blending Eastern and Western music together, and this is her romance and dance for violin and piano.
Our next composer is Fanny Mendelssohn Hensel. She was born in Hamburg, Germany in 1805 and was a piano virtuoso. She could play all of Bach's 48 pieces of the well-tempered clavier by memory at the age of 13 and composed her first work when she was only 14. She wrote over 400 works in her lifetime and could only perform at private performances. Her father is quoted for saying, music will perhaps be Felix's profession, whilst for you it can and must only be an ornament meaning that she, because she was female, she could not pursue music. Her brother Felix was a prominent composer at the time, and even had Queen Victoria remark that his pieces were amazing, except the pieces that she was referencing were actually Fanny's written under his name. One of the greatest pia unheralded piano suites of the 19th century, Das Jahr, The Year, is writ was written by her. And this is her piece, Das Meer er Glanz, a lyrical tone poem about the sea.
final composer of this presentation is Florence Price. She was born in 1887 in Little Rock, Arkansas, and she was the first African-American woman to have her pieces played by major orchestras. She was academically and musically talented and graduated high school at age 14. She pursued a double major in piano and organ at New England Conservatory, but she had to apply as Mexican descent to be accepted. She graduated and moved after the racial tensions started to rise in Little Rock, but she moved to Chicago and wrote under the pseudonym V.J. She combined Western music and African spirituals, and most of her works were lost, but are now being rediscovered. This is her violin concerto D major, second movement. 